Today we're going to be talking about your counter functions. So from the main screen here, you'll notice that we've got our message along the top and then our counter and our counter number indicator. We're going to touch that rectangle there that takes us into our counter settings menu. We have counter one, counter two, and our print count. Counter one and counter two are two different counters that can be embedded into the code that you're printing. You'll notice that the options are the same so you have the ability to have differing options between those two go over these real quick we have your current value right now the current value is 10. our next print would mean that if we had a counter printing that current that next print would be number 11. the initial value is currently set to zero uh, that is the starting point so if we ever get to the end or reset the counter it's going to go back to zero so uh, the current value would become zero and the next print would be one uh, you can set that to 1, 2, 5, 100, whatever you would like that starting value to be. Uh, the repeat count allows you to uh, repeat the, the count number the number of times that you selected. If you wanted to print 11 three times, you would just uh, change this one here to 3, and then whenever uh, it went to print, it would print uh, the next cycle would be 11 and it would print that three times 11 11 11 for those products and then it would change to the next print count of step value one so it would go to 12 for the next three prints so we'll change that back to one so you've got your value of one uh, that's your step value if you wanted to count by ones uh, or you can increase that to five and that'll count by fives that means your next print would be uh, 15 20 25 30 and then your max value if you want that to stop at 100 right now we've got it maxed out so you'll have as many prints as possible without it uh, starting over uh, again i've made those adjustments to the counter one you'll notice that in counter two those are completely separate and last but not least is your print count this is the overall uh, counter for the whole printer it is resettable uh, this printer has done 10 prints. Um, if you wanted to track your daily, weekly, or monthly usage, you would make sure that this just stays up to date, record those values, and that way you could check your production levels. Again, this is the counter settings menu, print count to keep track of the whole thing, and the embedded counters that you can build into your code uh, for your proper uh, message, uh, proper coding, and printing.